Hello everyone, welcome back to another AI video. This is a quick one. I'm gonna show you how to create consistent characters using the mid brand new CREF and CW options. This is brand new functionality that just came out today. It's in alpha. Let me give you an example here. Here's Ronaldo, an image I've got of Ronaldo just off the internet right there. I uploaded it into mid journey. Then look at this. I said Ronaldo wearing a dark suit, dash dash CREF, dash dash cw zero these are the new uh things you can add in and then look at this i mean this is ronaldo pretty much perfect the three out of four of these are fantastic and then i did a couple more of him reading a book again this is ronaldo consistent character now if we go down a little further here i did him as a cyberpunk villain looks pretty damn good other than this maybe this third one here is not so good but i mean these are just awesome and they look exactly like the image however what happens if you want to create an image in mid journey i'm going to show you that too so here's one of a pixar french bulldog smiling at the camera i like the top one here i selected it and then here we go pixar french bulldog playing on the beach dash dash c ref link dash dash cw 100 look at this here's the original french bulldog here is the french bulldog it created and this bottom right one and this top left one are not 100% perfect, but pretty damn close to carbon copies of the original image here. This is consistent characters. Here he is now in uh, pink pajamas. Notice that he's still got the gray face and the white stripe between the nose. This top right one's a little wonky, but I mean, we're gonna get consistent characters. Let me show you how to do it. All right, here we go. So let's start from scratch. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a character. Imagine, forward slash imagine, and then I'm gonna type in English, Bulldog in a Pixar style and hit enter. We're just going to make it nice and simple. It'll take a few seconds. I'll come back when it's done. I'll show you the next step. All right, welcome back. So here are the four candidates it gave me. Not too bad. This bottom right one looks like it has some pretty good potential. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on U4. We're going to upscale number four. Now, this is the character that we're going to be using. So we'll just take a quick look at him. He's got a nice brownish and white he's got some freckles here these darker spots in here you can get a good look at him now let's go ahead and start creating consistent characters the next step is i'm going to right click on his profile image here so just right click on the image and copy the link you can also click on the image and right click and copy link either way works fine now we've got that link now let's do the consistent character part forward slash imagine and then in this case, we're going to go English Bulldog in a Pixar style. Oops. But this time, instead of just hanging out in the park, he uh, he's going to be, I don't know, let's have him reading oops, a book on the beach. So we're going to we're going to make it a little, you know, a more of a complicated, more complex prompt. OK, good. So this is just standard stuff. Now I'm going to hit spacebar. And then I'm going to press the dash button twice, dash, dash, C-R-E-F, character ref. Then I'm going to hit space bar again. These, I don't mean to try to make this sound silly, but if the spacing's wrong, this doesn't work and it gets messy. So we hit space bar after C ref, and then I'm going to command V on a Mac, control V on a PC and paste in that link. When I do that, I've gone ahead and added it in. Now I'm going to hit enter. And this is going to go ahead and create a consistent character based on this image. Then after this one, I'm going to show you how to use the CW feature, and then we'll call it a day. Okay, welcome back. So here's the big guy up here at the top. Let's see what he looks like reading a book. Here, click on the four here. And this is a consistent character. The top left one is a pretty good shot. The top right one is a great shot, especially because it's got the same sort of markings underneath the jaw here and on the... Uh, front patch of his face and presto we can then go ahead and click on u2 <laughs> no pun intended and uh, there we go we can have what we always wanted or whatever the heck that song is and there we go we've got a consistent character we've got this big guy in a park here just doing some big dog stuff and then we've got him here on the beach reading a book consistent character i'm going to show you one last technique which is the cw technique here we go all right so to use the cw i'm going to show this one to you using leno messi i did ronaldo earlier let's use messi so i'm going to grab this image here and i'm going to drag and drop it in and hit enter make sure you hit enter or else this won't work once you do that now i want to create lionel messi but instead of wearing this jersey let's put him in a pink jersey or something like that so i'm going to go ahead and right click on his image 
and I'm going to copy that link. Now, here we go, forward slash imagine, and then I'm going to go Lionel Messi wearing a pink jersey, oh, pink, pink and blue jersey, something like that. Let's make it a little more complicated. Then we're going to go dash dash C-R-E-F, which is character ref, and then I'm going to copy and paste in that link again. Remember to click the space bar after, and then watch this. I'm going to hit space bar again, dash dash CW, and then instead of leaving it blank, I'm going to press in space zero. What this does is it says keep the face the same, but it gives it license to go ahead and make changes to like the to the uh, to the shirt and things like that, or pants or clothing and things like that. So it's basically going to weight this to zero. I'm going to hit enter. I'll come back when it's done, show you him in his new jersey, and we'll wrap it up. All right, welcome back. So let's see what we got here. This already I can tell is amazing. I click on it. Look at that. That's Lionel Messi in his pink and blue style jersey. These are amazing images, and that was using the CW. If you don't use the CW, zero part of me, you'll get the same style jersey. So those are the two things. That's all there is to it. If you get stuck or if you need to have any questions or if, you know you forget the spacing, leave a comment. I will help you out with them all. Thanks for watching. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another AI video. This is a quick one. I'm inside CapCut desktop version. I'm going to show you how to brighten or relight dark video footage for free. That's right, CapCut Desktop is a free app and all of the things I do here cost nothing and it's easy to do. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's some original footage of some guys just kind of going into a building. It's dark, you can't see their faces. It's very, very hard to make out. Here it is relit bright. You can even see the tiling here. You can see the grout and the tiling. That's how good this is. If I go forward a little more here, I'm going to turn this off. Let's see what we got here. We've got this dark outdoor scene. It's pretty good, but all I had to do was click and it's relit and it's nice and bright. And then finally, I'll show you one more example here. This is a dark outdoor scene here. Uh, I guess the lamp post is going on kind of out of the exorcist and then bang. It's completely relit. So I'm going to show you how to do all this. Again, it's free. Let's go step by step. All right, so the first step is if you do not have CapCut, the desktop version, you want to go to this link here. It is in the description below, so you can just click on it. And you want to go ahead and download and install it. It is free and there's no nonsense. Do keep in mind that if you go to CapCut.com, they have a login and this is for their online version. This is not the same as their desktop version. They're trying to make it as good as the desktop version and they're doing a great job, but it doesn't quite have the functionality the desktop does. So keep in mind you want the desktop and you want it installed for this uh, adjustment. All right, so once you're in CapCut and you've got it open here, you wanna look on the left side, it says import. Just make sure you're on device and then upload the footage that you wanna work on. I've already gone ahead and uploaded it, but if I wanted to do it again, I would just click on Finder on a Mac, uh, Explorer on a PC, and just grab the footage. So I've got a group of soldiers kind of going into a building. That's the one we'll work on. And then simply, I'll just drag and drop it right on top like that. Now it's imported. It says lost media not found because I've already imported it. So um, here we go. Here's the, here's the video. Let's go ahead and drag and drop that into the timeline here. When I do that, You'll see here that I've got this, yeah, I've got this dark looking footage here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stop it about, you know, five seconds here or so, because I just wanna show you the technique. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim it. But there we go, we've got this footage and it is dark and you can't really make out anything here, for example. Now, the next step here is we're gonna go over to the right side and you'll see there's a whole bunch of different options. I'm actually, actually, pardon me, I'm gonna go to adjustment first and then under adjustment, you'll see custom adjustment. I'm going to drag this down on top, just like that. And then I'm going to grab the handle on the end here and just make sure that it's the same length as the footage that I want to uh, brighten. So here we go. We've got the adjustment layer on top. Nothing's happened yet. No worries. Now on the right side, you'll see it says adjustment. Here's where the magic is. What you want to do is you want to first off, you want to click on curves. That's right. Every guy likes curves. These are some nice curves here. I'm going to go ahead and now click on the first curve. It says Luma. What is happening here is we've got the shadows is on the left side. We've got the midtones in the middle and we've got the highlights up at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and start upgrading the shadow. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on it and pull this up. And you're going to see right here that I'm going ahead and adjusting the Luma curve. Now Luma, for those of you that don't know, Luma is basically luminance. 
and luminance is brightness. So we are basically just pulling up the brightness and I'm just going to pull it up as I see fit here. Uh, maybe something like that. Maybe a little more in there. What do you think? Something like that. Should I bring it up a little more? Let's do it a little more. Why not? Let's go all the way so you can really see what's happening here. So if you have a really dark piece of footage, you could do something like this. Let's go something like that and then up, 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 up. Now this is way over the top, but I just want to show you the technique. So there we go. We've adjusted the Luma curve. You adjust yours as you see fit. Once that's done, if we turn this off here, this was the original shot. This is the re-brightened uh, or, or brightened shot. So there we go. We're already on our way. And in fact, that might be all you need to do. If you want to go further, you can click back here to basic. And now we can just do some quick adjustments. So for example, you can increase the exposure if you need it even brighter, depending on the type of shot you got. The brighter it gets the, like this, though, just keep in mind, you will see a little bit of noise because, well, we are going quite pretty. We're going deep into the... Uh, into the brightness spectrum here. I'm going to go ahead and click on highlight. Maybe I'd increase the highlights a bit. Again, depending on what you're looking for, you can adjust shadows. I mean, this is really going over the top. But again, you know what? Depending on what you're going for. And then lastly, brilliance. If you really need to jack it up, here's an example. So let's just say this is a little bit too much. Don't get me wrong. But here is the original shot. Dark, you can't see really anything other than, you know, the background here. Hit play. Now watch this. With just that, we've gone ahead and brightened up everything. It's all there. It's done. That's how you do it inside CapCut for free. Cost nothing. Finally, click export, and that's it. You can go ahead and export it to your desktop or whatever, and you're done, guys. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.